Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So today we're going to be reviewing the Feiyu Tech Mini 3D 3-Axis Brushless Gimbal. This is a review model from GearBest.com. I'll have the links in the description of where you can pick this up. Basically, I already took this out of the box and made a few little adjustments to it. Um, but we're, what we're going to be doing in this video is basically just opening the box, seeing what we get inside, and then going through kind of a software setup video. I'm going to cut to some setup video where I have it connected to my computer. Then I'm going to mount it on a, um, a craft and show you some real-time in-the-air video of this thing in action and how stable it can be. Then we're going to come back to the table and kind of do a final pros and cons afterthoughts. As far as the 3D gimbal arena, this thing is a pretty good price and it seems pretty small and light for, for what you get here. It does look like it uh, it can connect with a GoPro style camera. It's got this um, just just first looking at it. It's got this little little adjustable clamp here that you can clamp in uh, a few different um, types of cameras that kind of fit that GoPro style. So anyway, let's let me open the box here and show you um, everything you get inside. So initially, uh, these little rubber gimbal dampers weren't on here. I went ahead and installed this with this plate which also came separate, separated in the box and uh, the screws and this also, this bar was also separated in the box. So anyway, it's just a slide cover here and uh, in the box, you get these other two boxes which have all the stuff inside of them. I've already emptied these out. You get your instruction manual, kind of goes through everything, how to mount it to your craft, what everything does. little warranty card and then you get this little plastic bag if you wanted to mount it to say like those um, uh, cylindrical bar type mounts that can pull your uh, gimbal more forward you can clamp those onto there and uh, mount your mount this up to your gimbal so you can get your gimbal a little more forward on your craft so they give you that option they give you a uh, USB a pretty nice quality actually USB connecting cord and also a um, the plug-in USB plug-in so uh, this part would this this micro USB part would plug into the gimbal and then this will plug into here and this will plug into your computer for software adjustments which will which we'll get to in a sec they give you a couple of cords here I've already kind of modified this one okay so when you get it here, you get this cord with this type of connector and then actually this GoPro style plug-in is included with it. Uh, the camera I have, I have this Amcov 5000S camera that I'll be using with it. And this doesn't have the GoPro style mini USB plug. This has the micro USB plug. You can see the difference between uh, mini on the right, micro on the left. And so in order for this to work with my camera, I went ahead and just, um, I could have bought another cable, but just for time reasons, I went ahead and just cut this one and modified it. But anyway, it comes with multiple plugs here. So you get, you basically get, uh, this would plug into the back of the gimbal. And then this would be your 12 volt power. And then for your FPV video and ground, the yellow and black. And then you have your signal wires. So since it is a 3D gimbal, you've got uh, three different signal wires for each ac each access. Since I'm only using it, I'm going to be using it on the X uh, XK Detect X380 for now for the review. And I'm only going to be using the pitch because there is only one signal output that the X380 has. So I basically just to save weight and clutter, I basically just took off these other two wires, and I'll just be using this one wire here. So the way with this works, it's pretty cool. It's kind of like um, a lot of the other higher end uh, gimbals. But anyway, so this top portion here is where you plug in this large cable. So you plug that into the top and then all these parts would go to your craft. Down near the camera, the wiring is actually hidden inside, inside the actual arms of the gimbal so you can easily access without running wires all over the place. You can easily plug in your video 
for your camera right into this little port here. So using this other cable they give you, you can plug in directly behind the camera that you have mounted and this would plug right into your camera so you can have all of your function of, of your camera accessible without with minimal wiring uh, running up through the, the gimbal arms. All this wiring is just hidden nicely in here and then it all just basically comes out up here. So It also has six rubber ball dampeners which seem like it'll take away even more vibration which is nice. And I like to look, I like the look of the build quality just out of the box initial build quality and uh, just just the look of it looks looks pretty darn nice with that gold and black and it looks like it's very fine um, looks like the tolerance looks like it was machined very very good and the tolerances are nice it's got a nice finish so first impressions are, are really nice on this thing so basically what I'm going to be doing is mounting this um, Amcov 5000S camera to it and basically you just put the screws in here and put this bar on and then you can just loosen them and slide in your camera and when you are mounting gimbals when it is mounted up to the craft you, before you tighten down you want to make sure that it's balanced before it's even powered on you want to make sure it's balanced as as level as possible so um, you know put it on your craft have your craft just sitting there or even without the craft on just like this just go ahead and figure out the best balance for your camera. So, for example, this seems to be a great balance point, and you see how this camera is. I don't have the battery in this camera right now, but you see how far away from it is to this motor. That's basically where I would secure this thing down and go ahead and clamp it down. So you want to make sure you have good balance before you even mount it on the craft. Otherwise, you're going to have... Uh, some shaking problems and you might not get the best performance. So balance is definitely key. They also give you two extra rubber gimbals, uh, gimbal dampers, just in case you lose a couple of these, which is nice. Okay, so really quick, just getting into the weight comparison. This here is a uh, $50 aluminum gimbal from, from GearBest, the cheapest you can buy pretty much. That's a two-dimensional two gimbal. Now this one is also aluminum and it's got four rubber dampers and it's got pretty large motors compared to the Feiyu Tech. But I'm just going to do some some uh, comparisons. I'm just going to do some comparisons in weight real quick. Okay, so the 2D gimbal, two-axis gimbal, basically with all the wiring on it, less the camera. 208 grams okay so remember this is a two axis gimbal it doesn't have the yaw stability that a 3d gimbal does so i'm going to take the camera out of here and so basically this here would be everything ready to mount up unless your camera with all the wiring and stuff and this one oops zero that out and this one here is 168 grams. So you can see the difference of about 40 grams in weight. Now that is significant when you're, when you're dealing with um, aerial craft that really uh, lightness really matters as far as flight time and the handling of the craft. Uh, 40 grams is a significant amount of weight to, uh, to shave off. So being that this is a 3D gimbal with three axes, you have that extra motor up top here to, um, to dampen your yaw here. Um, that's pretty amazing for, for the weight and the cost you get on this thing. So initial out of the box review is very good for this. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to now go uh, mount it up and do some flight video and then come on back to the, to the bench and uh, see what I thought about this guy. So let's get out there and get some video. Basically, you're going to want to go to the feutech.com website, right here, feutech.com, and you're just going to want to go to the mini 3D gimbal page, and then you basically just um, go to the download section here, and you're going to find all the software here, so you just go ahead and download um, the update software. Um, Mine came with the latest 1.13 already installed, so 
October 2015 on, you're going to have this at least um, 1.13 uh, firmware, so you shouldn't have to download it. But um, if you want, that's where you download that from. And then um, the setting software here. And then if you want to have the entire manual here. And then the USB driver. Um, go ahead and download this and um, install that as well. So once you have all that stuff installed, uh, you just basically want to um, go ahead and open up where you installed it. You're going to want to install it and uh, unpack it. It basically comes in these types of um, WinRAR archive packages. And if you don't have the, the WinRAR software, you can just download that from winrar.com and uh, have that tool. So basically, you just unpack the software, put it in any folder you want. And uh, so the way you do, the, we'll do the firmware, and then we'll also do the uh, setting software. So I'll show you how to do both. So first thing you want to do is uh, have your USB plugged into your computer and make sure that uh, your computer installs the drivers. You're going to want to use the both um, the USB plug and that little USB dongle they give you in the package and have those plugged into the computer. And when you plug that in first, um, it's going to actually install the drivers for the Feiyu Tech gimbal driver software when you plug that into the computer side. And then all you do is plug the small micro USB end. You go ahead and plug that into the top of the gimbal first. So you plug that into the top of the gimbal first. Um, and then actually we'll go ahead and do the, um, the firmware update software first. So you just double click in the folder and then uh, you're going to see this update for mini 3D. Just double click that. Run it. And you're going to get this little pop-up window here and it should it should automatically know where the gimbal port is so make sure that's correct and then also um, the bod should all already be 115 200 here so before you power on the gimbal you just plug in that micro usb to the port on the gimbal board and then press open so basically this program is waiting for the gimbal to um, power on to initiate it. And then um, you're going to want to go ahead and just plug it in to, it can be from 7 volts up to, I think it's uh, 18 volts. So I'm just using a 3S um, 11 volt battery right now. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in. Okay, so as soon as you plug in, it's going to say link OK. You see how it says link OK here. And then it's going to tell you the version that's already installed on the gimbal. In this case, I'm not going to update anything because the latest firmware I have is the 1.13. That's the latest they have on their website. So I'm not going to do that. Um, but anyway, that's how you do it. And then if you wanted to update, you just basically hit open file and you just browse you just browse to your um, wherever that firmware was and then just click the update and it'll update the firmware so we're going to close out of here and then now we're going to go into the gimbal software I'm unplugging everything from the gimbal power and the USB micro USB and we're going to do the same thing when we go into the um, Mini 3D setting software version 1.1. So we just open up the program, double click it, run it, and we're going to see this here. Same type of window, just a little different. We're going to see COM6, 115200 on the next window down, and uh, we're just going to click open before we connect anything. So the program is basically listening for the gimbal, and uh, as long as you put in the micro USB before the power. So I plug the micro USB in, now I'm going to power it on. Okay. 
So basically plugged in, gimbal's powered on. It's not actually powering the gimbal up, so you can set the gimbal down how any way, any way you want um, for this startup process. And then um, basically you're gonna see down here it says read parameters success. So the gimbal is just setting down and now it's reading as success. So for the next step, you are gonna want to have your camera installed and uh, your, your gimbal basically um, held up, either mounted on your quadcopter or a mount and just still or just holding it in your hand. And then you're just gonna click start here. Okay, so when you click start, your gimbal is basically gonna initiate and it's going to find level and just be kind of working how a gimbal should work. And really all you can do here is basically adjust the roll and pitch. So say for some reason the gimbal wasn't level, you would just click the, the negative and positive buttons here to, uh, to level it out. And you could, you could put like your own level on it or just eyeball it however you want to do it. And then you click save here once it was done and then this one here in the instruction the heading follow following mode it says this doesn't do anything for the mini 3d gimbal so and when you're all done with this roll and pitch setting which is really all you can do and you just click save and it will uh, save your settings and that's it then you just click um, stop close close the program and you're all set. Disconnect your gimbal, power and uh, micro USB and you're all set. So really the only thing you can adjust is that fine tuning on the pitch and roll and also the firmware upgrade which we went through. Alright, so let's get out there and uh, fly with this thing and see how it does.
Hey guys, welcome back. So you're able to see the FuTech Mini 3D gimbal uh, mounted on an XK Detect X380 quadcopter, uh, GPS quadcopter, and you're able to kind of see it go ahead and stabilize the camera. Um, I was in kind of gusty winds that day. Uh, I think there was some portions of the clip where you could see the palm trees kind of blowing in the wind, and it was pretty darn windy um, to have you know steady aerial footage but the mini 3d here did a really good job pretty good job at um, taking out all the the shakes um, there was some slight very slight jello um, and I think that's probably due to maybe uh, some vibrations in the craft um, but really barely noticeable uh, and you know, it's, it was also pretty windy, so wind can also play its part in vibrations as well. But basically, overall, um, I think it's a really good gimbal for 140 bucks at the time of this review. I'm just going to go ahead and plug it in real quick and show you guys uh, what it looks like um, in action here. So I just have a 11.1 3S battery. LiPo battery I have plugged in here. And um, you can kind of see the, the way the gimbal's working. So basically, uh, two-dimensional gimbals, you have uh, roll and the pitch, which it stabilizes. So again, that's the roll and the pitch. And you can see the camera is staying completely uh, level. And then where the 3D, the third the third axis comes into play is the um, the yaw right here or the pan the third motor up top right here so you can see if there are any slight vibrations or twitches it completely takes out the yaw vibrations now once if you're slowly going in one direction it'll actually slowly kind of catch up the camera will slowly catch up and turn very slowly back to its uh, forward facing position. Of course if you go over a certain amount it'll start to move a little faster with the craft. And so it takes a little bit of getting used to especially in this in the video you guys saw I was shooting in FPV so um, it was kind of an experience for me to get used to that little bit of lag here in the yaw just to have that better stable video but it's it's just a little bit of a learning curve. And then the footage you saw was actually shot by this Amcov um, 5000S it's kind of a GoPro replica cam. I'll go ahead and put the links up in the description of uh, for this camera as well if you guys are interested, if you like the quality of this. I think it's around $70. I also did a review on that too if you wanted to check out the review. So anyway guys, as far as the gimbal goes, I'm really liking this gimbal. This is the first 3D gimbal I've had and um, for the price, I'm digging it. It's, uh, it's light. It's got six dampers, does the job well, it looks nice, it's got pretty precision craftsmanship. And um, what I'm going to be doing, actually in the video you saw, was the legs. You kind of saw the legs of the craft, which actually was a good test for it, because you could see how much the craft was moving around. And then you could see, if you just kind of looked at the, the ground or the ocean, you could see how steady it was keeping the shot while the legs of the craft were just moving all around from the wind and the control. Um, so it kind of gave you a really good indication of um, of what to expect with this guy here. But anyway, guys, this was a review model from GearBest.com. I will have the links in the description of where you can pick this up if you're interested. And I hope this review helped you out to determine if you'd like to get something like this. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I do a lot of videos, reviews on stuff like this and also quadcopters, hexcopters, all that kind of stuff, RC vehicles. So if you haven't already, please subscribe and check out the channel. I think you'll like it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.